So I've tried a few different brindling techniques on animals, and the one that I found works best is just a very basic method of just pulling off a little tuft of the kind of the color that you need and just kind of laying it across the wool and just kind of felting it into place, whatever pattern that um, you know the, the dog that you're trying to replicate has. It's darker in patches, lighter in patches. The last dog I did was a, um, that was brindle, was black with like a gold brindling. Um, this is just a base for a dog that I'm just starting. It's not really that firmly felted yet, but just for, you know, just to show you how it's done. So this is, I just kind of started trying it out here. Um, that's looking a little stripy, but you can kind of, you, know, you can kind of move it around and um, add little here and there to even it out. And really, that's kind of the best method I've found. It's kind of a trial and error, but it just kind of starts to come together. Um, once you just kind of keep adding and, and seeing which patches are darker, which patches are lighter on the dog, I'm just kind of following that. And then if something doesn't look good, just kind of pull it out, and then when you get something and you think it looks good, then just felt it all into place a little bit firmer. And that's honestly the best way that I've that I've found. I've seen some other brindling techniques that you just don't, they look a little too stripy or a little bit too patterned. So, you know, just little tufts of it, and then just lay it down and kind of felt it into place. And obviously on a leg, it'll be a little bit different, but it'll be the same basic process. And then once you think it looks pretty good, just kind of go over the whole thing and firm it up. And that should be good. I hope that helps.